Bonjour tout le monde, hello everybody, salut, hi, bienvenue, welcome to French with Mr. Innes. Ça va Are you Ça va très bien Ça va bien Comme si comme ça, ça va mal ou oh, ça va très mal. Moi, ça va bien parce que il fait chaud. I am in my family home in Belgium in a town called Waterloo and it was about a mile away from here that a very exciting event happened 200 years ago that we're going to learn about today. And if you enjoy the video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel below. Before we learn about Waterloo, we are going to kick off with some Mathe, Mathe, Mathematique. Now in our last video, we learnt that if you put 60 and 10 together, you get 60, 10, 70. So what about this one? 60 plus 15 égale... 75, très bien. Next up. 60 plus 17 égale... 77, fantastique. And last up. 60 plus 19 égale... 79, bravo. And now it's time for our phrase of the day. Today's phrase of the day means there was. So it's perfect for thinking about French history. Écoutez, il y avait, il y avait, il y avait, il y avait. Répétez, il y avait, il y avait, il y avait, il y avait. Très bien. Now we're going to change things up and have our fun French fact of the day. Did you know that over 200 years ago, France used to rule over all of the countries in red and pink? Countries like Belgium, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Austria, and even bits of Germany, Spain, and Italy. Under the rule of a special leader we're going to learn about today, France nearly took over the whole of Europe. In fact, the French army made it all the way to Moscow in Russia before being defeated and then sent home in the cold winter. To explain how France got so powerful and then lost control over much of Europe, we're going to move on to our ooh la la vocab. France got very, very powerful under the rule of this leader here. He was born on the 15 août 1769, 15th of August 1769 in Corsica, and he became a very strong leader during the French Revolution. He then went on to become the first emperor of France in 1804, 1804. It was this guy who helped France to conquer lots of Europe. And his name was... Écoutez six fois, listen six times. Napoléon. 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 Répétez. Napoléon. 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 Now, 11 ans, 11 years after Napoleon had become the Emperor of France, he had lost a few battles already and France was beginning to lose some of its control over Europe. In one final burst to try and reassert control over Europe, Napoleon went up to the Nord, north of France, to Belgium and Waterloo, where I am right now. It was here that he fought the British army, who were led by... Écoutez six fois. Wellington. Wellington, 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 Wellington. Répétez, Wellington, 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 Wellington. And on the 18th juin 1815, the 18th of June 1815, Napoleon and Wellington began to fight the Battle of Waterloo. A battle in French is... Écoutez six fois. Une bataille. Une bataille. Une bataille. Une bataille. Une bataille. 
Une bataille. Répétez. Une bataille. Une bataille. Une bataille. Une bataille. Une bataille. Une bataille. A few hours into the bataille, it really looked like Napoleon and France were going to defeat Wellington's British army. In fact, Napoleon would probably have beaten Wellington at the Hougoumont farm if it hadn't been for another leader of another army who stepped in to help Wellington. This guy led the Prussian army, which was from northern Germany, and he was called, écoutez six fois, Blücher. 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 Répétez. Blücher. 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 Wellington and Blücher. Britain and Prussia joined forces and over the course of the battle they managed to peg back Napoleon and France until Napoleon finally surrendered. And this defeat for France meant that they lost many of the places that they controlled. In fact, the Netherlands split off from France and became its own country. But one of the princes from the Netherlands, the Prince of Orange, had been wounded in the shoulder during the Battle of Waterloo the Netherlands decided to build a hill in the exact place where the Prince of Orange had been wounded. This hill is known as the Lion's Mound, or in French, écoutez six fois, la Butte de Lyon. 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 Répétez, la Butte de Lyon. 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 La Butte de Lyon remains the iconic place that you can see. In fact, you can see it from quite close to my house. And that way, everybody remembers where the Battle of Waterloo was fought. So now it's time for. Which one's missing? As per usual, I will help you with the first trois. First up, we've got Napoleon, Wellington, une bataille, and Blücher. Which one's missing? Très bien, if you said Wellington. Next up, we've got Napoleon, la butte de Lyon, une bataille, and Blücher. Which one's missing? Fantastic, if you said une bataille. Next up, we've got Napoleon, La Butte de Lyon, Wellington, and Blücher. Which one's missing? Bravo, if you said Blücher. Next up, and you are on your own. Which one's missing? Merveilleuse, if you said Napoleon. Next up. Which one's missing? Fantastic, if you said La Butte de Lyon. And the last one. Which one's missing? Très bien, fantastic, bravo et merveilleuse if you said Wellington. And now it's time for our sensational sentences. Sensational sentences, sensational sentences, sensational sentences, sensational sentences, sensational sentences, sensational sentences. For our sensational sentences, can you remember what our phrase of the day was? Très bien, il y avait. Il y avait means there was, so we're going to think about who there was in the Battle of Waterloo. I will help you with the first deux. 
First up, how would you say there was Napoleon? Répétez, il y avait Napoleon. Il y avait Napoleon. Très bien. How would you say there was Wellington? Répétez, il y avait Wellington. Il y avait Wellington. Fantastic. Try the next trois by yourself. How would you say there was a battle? Bravo if you said il y avait une bataille. How would you say there was blucher? Merveilleuse if you said il y avait blucher. And last up, how would you say there was the lion's mound? Très bien, fantastic if you said, il y avait la butte de lion. And now it's time for our song of the day. Now today's song of the day is a little bit special because it's the first one we've ever had that's in English. And that's because this song is all about the Battle of Waterloo. It's by ABBA and it is called Waterloo. It was the winner of Eurovision in 1974, 1974 and it's still probably regarded as the best Eurovision song ever. And you can find a link to it in the description below. And let's finish up today with our challenge time. Today I'm going to ask you guys to do a little bit of research and create a poster telling me exactly what happened in the Battle of Waterloo. It could look something like this. The Battle of Waterloo. Napoleon was crowned French Emperor in 1804. He conquered most of Europe until one fateful battle in Belgium. Wellington and Blücher defeated Napoleon at Waterloo in 1815 to end his power over France and much of Europe. Waterloo still remains one of the biggest, most famous and important battles in history. And it would be awesome if you could tweet some of your work to the hashtag FrenchWithMrInnis and I'll do my best to get back to you from my Twitter account at FrenchMrInnis. And that is everything today from our first French history video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel below. But for now, à bientôt and au revoir! Bienvenue! Welcome to a... And subscribe to my channel for more French... I don't know. Now it... Now in our... To explain why this... Uh, no. Why France? Uh, to explain how this... France, it's... Alright, um, this is really bad. You can see. No, the uh, Le Boutillon remains. <laughs>